One of the most common patterns of asking questions in the English language is when you say things like any news, anything, any more. And in Nigeria, we have a pattern of asking questions in the English, in the pidgin English, like when we say waiting day. In Arabic language, we also have equivalents of this. One of these is what we say, Hal min su'al, any question, Hal min mazid, any more, Hal min khabar, any news. These are what we shall be learning in our today's lesson. And we are still in the book, Durus al al Arabiya, also known as Medina Arabic book. For those of us who have not downloaded their copy, you can hit on the description box to get the link there to download the PDF file of this book. And if you could, you can simply move to a bookstore to purchase yours. And now we have Hal Min Su'al. This pattern, Hal Min Su'al, any question? jumla. The origin, the foundation of this statement, Hal Min Su'al in India is, do you have any question with you? This is the origin. Do you have any question at hand, Hal Min Su'al in India? But we cut it short to say, Hal Min Su'al, any question? Hadihi min azaida wa min shurut al-dukhuliha. This mean that you can see hal min, that mean there, it is azaida, it is additional. And it has conditions before you could make this addition. One of these conditions is ayas bekohan, ayas bekohan nafyun, is that this mean, before you can introduce it into this pattern of questioning, you must make sure that this mean is preceded before it preceded by, by a particle of negation. It must be coming after a particle of negation. And this mean, must also be preceded by a nahyun, a particle of prohibition, like la and nahya. Al istifhamun, all this mean before you can add it into a sentence, it must also be preceded by istifham. That is a particle of interrogation, like hal. That's why we say hal means so al. Any question? Now the second condition is an yakuna majuru hana kirotan that the genitive noun, the noun appearing after the mean, which is supposed to be in the genitive case carrying kisro, should be an indefinite noun, not a definite noun carrying al or the alif and lam article. Now we have short exercise. From here, when you solve this, you will know how to use short phrases like this.